What's up helpers, I'm Hamza here from the Help Times and in this video we're gonna take a look at Google Drive. How can we start using it and how can we get up and running with it? It is a really amazing service. I use it every day as you get used to it, you can live without. So moving on what really Google Drive is, Google Drive is a basic cloud storage provider like Dropbox if you have heard of it. So what it really does is you just upload, uh, create an account there and you start uploading files and they just save it on their server and you can then access it from anywhere using your account that's on, on that website. Moreover, you can use it for other purposes too. Maybe you just want to back up or secure some of your files from your computer. Maybe if your window get corrupted, you can save some files by uploading your files to internet and you will not lose them or you can use that account to share files among the friends so that you just upload you just want to share a file with friends you just upload that file to your google drive account you get a shareable link you send that link to your friends and here it is your friend get all all the files you want to share so let's without further ado let's get started and get you up and running with google drive first thing you want to do is open up your browser and just go to Google and type Google Drive there and the first link definitely appears for Google Drive <laughs> the best thing about this it is provided by Google so it is reliable and it is really good one so click on go to Google and it will ask you I just created this new account so I will just quickly go there and I will just enter the password for it and uh, let's wait for it to log in and it just took us to our google drive i just newly created this account i didn't use it much so basically it will show you on the home screen that how to get started it is automatically downloaded uploaded this file here so that you can download it and read it and and study it then you will be able to use google drive more efficiently as they have put its documentation in there so moving on I will just give you a quick tour of Google Drive and how can you use it the basic uh, principle here is here you have your own drive incoming recent here is the history what you have recently done and stuff so uh, to add a new file just click on new and just click on file upload or folder upload whatever you want to do I'm just going to upload a file I just like the random one and it as you can see it is upload complete now I can use my account to access this file from anywhere and if I want to share this file I will just select this file and click uh, double click on it in fact and it will open this file and then if you want to share it with a friend you will have to get a shareable link you will get it come here this person icon click on it and here you will see an option called get shareable link you will copy this and wherever you paste this link or you give it your friend they will definitely get this file so you can do this same with videos and pdfs and other documents so the best thing about it is you can download an application of google drive on your computer and you just put the files you want to upload to your google drive account on the internet to that folder and it will continuously sync those files to your account so that you don't really have to up, uh, open your account every time you want to upload any file so let's see how can we get that so i will just click on here and uh, click on driver and uh, and here is the option you just click on drive to come back to your home screen and on just come over to this gear icon and click on download drive and here it is just click on download drive option here and in no time it should start downloading okay it is asking what you for what you want to download it uh, uh, we want to download it for Mac and PC just uh, click on that option there and it will ask you for accept and install let's just click on that one let's just start downloading it and it is downloading no time and after that just click on open here after this would be installed you will see it will create a folder in our uh, folder directory and we'll see a bit how can we then use it it is just installing 
the and downloading the files from the Google Drive server so that it as installation complete it is really simple and small application so installation has been completed let's see how it works I'm just going to quickly uh, it has installed these Google Docs Google Slides so <clears throat> if we update them here they will get updated there so here you can under in, in, in this icon section in this application bar you can see that there is uh, a sign of Google Drive and it is uh, it has been installed and it is asking to us it, it is asking us to get started I'll just click on get started and it will ask us to enter the password uh, we want to sign in with a different user so we have to add an account here I'm just really gonna add the email address that we used earlier which I showed you I'm just gonna enter uh, the password for it and click on sign in and uh, let's wait for it let's just sign in so here it is it is showing us that now you can access the Google Drive folder under your documents or else you will see it under your favorites so let's just click on next and next and it is telling us that if you want to share some file with Google Drive you just uh, you uh, on your you just put it on your file explorer right click on it and then get to this Google Drive option and click on share we'll look at that in a moment and click on you can access Google Drive from here also just click done the folders gonna within Google Drive doesn't match the folders in your Google Drive online we'll just click on continue for that moment it is showing that error because I already used it for my other emails it is asking me that you have already some files in Google Drive folder I will just click on start over to just uh, uh, start from start run it I'm just going to close it so uh, the, after you have installed that it will show you I'm just going to quickly delete it because this these files are not associated with this account. You have just you uh, okay. It is telling me that your previous account is no longer uh, connected with your Google, Plus, uh, Google Drive. So it doesn't matter. So here we are. Here you will be if you're installing it for the first time. Now I'm just going to quickly click on sign in again to get us signed in. I'm just going to quickly select that email does so it, it can get a little tricky but it's not that tricky times you just download it and now here we are we have this empty folder now and we can use it to share our files and as you guys can see right now that we uploaded a picture there and we just got it in our google drive folder you upload something in your university in your account there and it will get downloaded in your computer on the go without doing anything or other way around you upload something here let me just quickly get some uh, music here I'm just gonna quickly copy this music and I'm just going to quickly paste it here and as you can see this icon this icons means that it is synchronizing it with your online account so the other way you can use it to if you have a group you can just create a shared email address among those group and just share the gmail a gmail email password and gmail email among those friends so that they could just access that google drive folder in their pcs so i hope you're getting the sense if you're not then don't worry start using it and you will get to you will get used to it in no time so it is uploading we can see the status from here it is uploading as it is sending that we can pause it as it is synchronizing it we can visit the google drive on the web let's see if it's been uploaded but it is not it's not showing that it has been uploaded because it's taking some time as it is showing here that let's see if we refresh it yes we refresh it and it has been uploaded and we have that file on the internet too we can click on it and we can click on get link and we can just send that link to anybody who wants to download this file i hope you get 
a really good sense of wheel drive and now you can get started with it and start using it just get on to it and start using it and you will get used to it and you will love it definitely so if you have any question you can leave in the comments below and if this video really helped you please like and share this video and it really helps us a lot and motivates us to do more and thank you so much for watching this video and i will just say goodbye anyway guys don't forget to click that subscribe button and join our family and become a helper we really need your support guys and you take care of yourself and we will see you in the next video